Are you struggling to pass the CPA exam? Did your review course fail to fit your learning style? I'm Darius Clark of I-75 CPA Review, the number one course supplement, where the right teacher makes all the difference. All right, so what do you have to know about business processes for BEC? We'll cover the basics in this chapter, and we'll get a little more in-depth in the I-75 BEC information technology chapter. So let's start with the basics. Business processes, a set of related activities and tasks brought together to achieve a desired goal. Business processes, typically, they're a series of tasks that culminate in a product, in a service, or a business goal. The term processes is plural, meaning more than one process. So these processes are related, and they culminate in a product or in a service, depending on the business model. Now, there are three types of business activities that you need to know, because business processes can be divided into the following three types of activities. Number one, we have what's called operating processes. Then we have projects, and then management and support processes. So that could be tested, because those are the three types of business activities that a business process has to fit into. It's either an operating process, a project, or management and support. And when you combine all of these, you have many different related business processes, not necessarily independent of each other because corporate strategy may require overlap among operating processes, projects, and what's determined management and support. Where I think the exam is gonna go is you're gonna have to know the difference between an operating process, a project, and management and support. So let's start with number one, operating processes. Operating processes are your routine activities that directly relate to the entity's core objectives. They directly add value to the firm's customers. So when you see operating processes, you know that's a routine activity that adds value directly to customers. For accounting firms, operating processes are those activities that provide services to satisfy client needs. What's an operating process for a manufacturing company? Those activities that produce and sell products to customers. For example, the operating processes of a car manufacturer, such as Tesla, relate to the construction and sale of electric vehicles. Once operating processes are designed, they're typically continuous, except for adjustments to improve efficiency or account for technological improvements. So operating processes are routine, they're continuous, they directly relate to the entity's core objectives, directly adding value to customers. So out of the three types of business activities, we started with number one, operating processes. Now we're gonna go on to number two and look at projects. As business processes go, projects are non-routine. Remember how operating processes were routine? Well, projects are non-routine, so make a note of that. Operating processes routine, projects non-routine. That's important because you're gonna need that to distinguish between right and wrong answer choices. So projects either are non-routine or they contribute directly to achieving the entity's core objectives, but only happen over an extended period because they're a project, it takes a while. A non-routine project could be the activities related to Tesla's selection of a new vendor for carbon fiber. A project that contributes directly to achieving core objectives over an extended period could be Tesla contracting engineers to produce a more efficient battery pack with longer range. These are projects that are gonna directly create value for the customer, but they're either non-routine, such as the activities related to selecting a new vendor, or they happen over a longer period of time, such as a research and development project, an engineering project. So now we've looked at the first two types of business activities. Operating processes, we said they're routine. Projects, they're non-routine. And then there's management and support processes. These could be routine or non-routine. So let's get a closer look at management and support processes. Management and support processes, these are the activities that supervise and support the business. These processes are required for the success of the business, but they do not directly create value for the customers of the entity. We're talking about human resources, accounting, and IT. 
They are certainly required for the success of the business, but do they create value directly for the customer? No, more of an indirect value creation. Management and support processes can be routine or non-routine. Often these departments provide the organizational governance and strategic direction of the business, and they create value for the customer indirectly, if at all. So let's try this question. So let's try this question. Which of the following terms describes the type of business activity that directly relates to the entity's core objectives and thereby directly create customer value? Number one, operating processes. Yes, that directly relates to the entity's core objectives and directly creates customer value. How about two, management and support? No, number two is wrong because processes that involve accounting and human resources while they're required for the success of the business, they do not directly relate to the entity's core objectives, nor do they directly create customer value. So the answer is A, one only. Now with questions on business processes on the exam, it's often gonna come down to one or two key words in the question. This area is gonna be something of a word game if you get tested on this. And the important term in this question is, directly create customer value. And those would be operating processes. And if it would have offered projects as a choice, you would have chose projects as well. How about this? Which of the following terms describes the type of business activity that indirectly creates value for the entity's customers? And here it would be management and support processes, letter B. Because projects directly create value for customers. Projects, while they're not operating processes, they're related business activities that either are non-routine or they contribute to achieving core objectives over an extended period of time, like a research and development project. How about this one? Business processes are divided into the types of business activities below, except for A, operating processes. No, that's number one. That's the most important one. B, projects. Isn't that a type of business activity also? Sure. C, management and support. Yep, audits and financial reporting. Letter D is the answer because audits and financial reporting, that's not a business activity that business processes can be divided into. The three types of business activities, operating processes, projects, and then management and support. Which of the following related business activities directly create value for customers? while contributing directly to achieving core objectives, but over an extended period of time. Is it A, management and support processes? No, because management and support processes do not directly create value for customers. B, operating processes. Well, operating processes certainly directly create value for customers, but look what the question is saying, related business activities and achieving core objectives over an extended period of time, that's not operating processes, that would be projects. Let's go with letter D, neither. So you've gotta know your projects from your operating processes. Projects are related business activities that are non-routine or contribute directly to achieving core objectives over an extended period of time. All right, how about this one? An operating process is a type of business activity that is best categorized as, and if you think you know the answer, leave it for me in the comments section. And don't forget to like and subscribe because it helps the channel out a lot. And if you wanna learn more about business processes for the BEC exam, go to cpaexamtutoring.com and get yourself on I-75 where the right teacher makes all the difference.